If you're like me, I bet you've occasionally felt like there's never enough time in the day to complete everything that you want to do, right? Now, before we talk about your time management, let's talk about taking two seconds to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever any other videos are made from me, from yours truly, that you might find enjoyable. So go ahead and hit that and then we can move on. So today I wanna to talk about two concepts that you can use with your calendar, with your time, with your day, with that priority list that we talked about last week to help you make the most of your day and ensure that your brain isn't having too many like switching patterns between doing a bunch of different stuff and then doing a bunch of different stuff and then doing a bunch of different stuff and then making sure that you're using the time of day that works best for you in your brain because some people are night owls, some people are early birds, some people just prefer to work through lunch, but when is the best time to work for you? So the first concept I wanna talk about today is time blocking. What is that? So if you aren't familiar, time blocking is the art of taking similar tasks and grouping them into theme time blocks throughout your day or your week on your calendar. This allows you to batch similar work and tasks and reduce the amount of time that your brain has to switch gears. For example, do you find yourself checking email like 30,000 times a day, like some of us? So you can address this and save yourself some time every single day by creating an email block on your calendar, say like four o'clock to five o'clock or 4.30 to five o'clock, however long it takes you, and use that towards, you know, again, towards the end of the day, of course, because I don't think you want to use it in the middle morning or any time where you could get distracted by something someone sent you, but make sure like to leave a, a block at the end of the day where you can check your email, send messages, uh, re respond, uh, clean it out, um, anything like that. So just put email into a hour or half hour bucket at the end of the day, and voila, you had not have to worry about it at all the rest of the day. Now that's just one example of time blocking, but you can take anything else. If you wanted to take songwriting as a time blocking period, you know, two, three hours, if that's something you do in the morning, great, set aside like eight to 10, that's songwriting, don't do anything else. Any kind of song development or music development, maybe even recording goes in there but these are similar tasks. Sure, there's a little bit of switching between them in terms of equipment or you know, whatever your brain mindset's gotta be between writing or recording or what have you, but try to find similar patterns in the work that you do every day and then make blocks for those throughout the day. And it's not just a daily thing either. You could also do things like this during the week. So say Monday is Music Mondays and you wanna just do focus on music and writing and recording and that type of thing, but then maybe, you know, Tuesdays or Thursdays are maybe an email day, maybe a marketing day, maybe a promotional day, um, but you're, you're gonna have a lot, a lot better grasp on what you need to break up. So think about what kind of smaller blocks you can do during the days and what kind of larger blocks you could use throughout the week. Now, the second concept I wanna quick touch on or cover with you today is power hours. And no, we're not going to the gym. This is not weightlifting, don't worry about it. So this goes a little bit back to what I was talking about before, being a morning person, an early bird, being a night owl, being a lunchtime worker, being whatever. Try to identify what time of day you are the most productive. If you are more productive in the morning, set your alarm clock for 5 a.m. and do a five to noon type of thing and get your work done in the morning. If you find yourself being a night owl, wait till after dinner, 6 to 2 a.m. or 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's your work time. If you like the middle of the day type of thing, do a 10 to four, you know, more of a typical nine to five situation. But where are you, where is your brain the most productive? When is your brain the most active, can do the best work and can get the most done without feeling lazy or, you know, worn out or tired or anything like that. When you identify that time of day, that is your superhero power, your power hours. Those, that's the time that like, boom, you are your best self, you are your most productive. And that is a time that you should always try to maybe use your time blocks with. Like my morning time from five to noon is my go time. So I'm going to do two hours of this, two hours of this, two hours of this, and a half hour for email at the end of the day, around lunchtime, end of my day being noon. And then the rest of the day, give your brain a break. It's okay. 
And one last thing, referencing last week's email about prioritizing the, the primary tasks, the 20% uh, of tasks that make the 80% of difference in your music career, think about your power hours as times to spend on those two or three priority items that need to happen every day. Otherwise, you're just feeling falsely productive. So try to marry the, the, the product productivity time with your power hours, um, and just use the, these three concepts to really manage your time and get as much done as possible in the best time possible, in the best way possible. Lots to cover, but it's, it's really worth going through this, this exercise of kind of figuring out what your day, week, and set of hours is, and then using your to-do list every day to figure out what you need to get done. I guarantee if you find the mix that works for you, you are going to get more done in less time, and you are going to feel wonderful. I hope today's video was helpful. If it was, take a power second and hit that like button. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Happy to take care of those for you. Again, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me and I'm sure my future videos and past videos will mean the world to you and your music career. I appreciate you checking out today's video and I'll see you next time.